Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I wanted to show you how you can check hash values for downloaded files in Windows directly without the installation of additional tools. For what is it good for? I have downloaded a Xubuntu ISO file here from the Xubuntu homepage. If you download something from the homepage you see there are several mirrors here from different countries. And if I click on a mirror, for example, this is, I think, a Hungarian one or a Bulgarian one. And if I click on this one here, I go to a German university here and I can download the ISO file here. But you want to make sure that you download the correct ISO file and that the ISO file was not switched on the server in a different country. And that's where the hash value comes into place. Usually when you download something like your Linux distribution from the internet, there's also a SHA value provided, a checksum file with a checksum for the file where for with which you can check the downloaded file afterwards if you have downloaded the correct file. Okay, we have here the checksum, the SHA-256 checksum from this server here and we will also check it here from the German server and so it's basically saying it's, just, uh, it's the same hash value so we can be very sure that both servers aren't manipulated. I downloaded the file and how do we check if we downloaded the correct file? We open a PowerShell in Windows from the start menu and then I change to my folder where the download the ISO file is located. In my case it's the desktop, so CD desktop and ls list the files here and I have here my Xubuntu ISO file. And if I want you to calculate the hash value, the local hash value, I can use the following command, get file minus hash. Then the file name, Xubuntu, you can hit uh, press tab, then it will autocomplete, minus algorithm, and then SHA-256. Enter, and then the hash value is calculated, and now you have to compare this value here with the value provided on the internet. It's case insensitive, so there's no difference here. It's C59, C3BB. Okay, so it checks out. It's usually enough if you check the first, uh, the first characters and numbers and also the last ones, and if they match, everything is usually okay, because if there's a slight, a small change on the file, the hash value would be completely different. In our case, we can be sure that we downloaded the correct file. And if you are unsure if you have downloaded the correct file or the file is corrupt, you can use the hash value to check if you have downloaded the correct file or it wasn't corrupted during download. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.